takes nine. Hello there YouTube, today we have another video about the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon and this time it's an enclosure that I've made and some parts that you can get yourself as well and for a pretty cheap price and as you can see this enclosure is a little bit bigger than the printer itself I will show you in a minute but it works really well so what is on the outside of it like your EMS system and I also put some um, side holder for the spool and I had to remix this because I found it on Thingiverse as I found this locking mechanism on Thingiverse I had to remix this one and this one I didn't it was just perfect and I, I just printed it and assembled it on the printer but this one is fairly new one I saw on um, Facebook and I saw that there was a model for it and I had to adjust it a little bit in order to make it fit onto this enclosure. So guys, I will show you inside what it looks like. So guys, this is what the printer inside of this enclosure looks like. So we have some foam, anti-acoustic foam and some noise reducting, um, well, this is cardboard or something, but it works really well. So on the lid here, we have also some acoustic foam and on this side, on the left and the right side, not on the top because this gets fairly hot and when it gets fairly hot, the double-sided tape doesn't hold it. So I had to take it off because it was falling off all the time. And these are not really rigid as well so you can see it's coming off it might fall off and um, that's why i'm also still waiting for new type of double-sided tape i've been using 3m 3m uh, double-sided tapes they do work but when it gets hot it might it tends to just uh, come a bit loose and i don't like that so looking at all those things of the, uh, the of the enclosure that i've put in is this a uh, really thick but very high quality uh rubber which is being used normally on a, a washing machine type of things like for reducing the uh, vibration so it is on the bottom of this enclosure and also is taking the noise levels pretty low so let me open the lid here we have also some led lighting there i will change the system as well on the led lighting because i've printed this um holder for the led light i have to put it inside of it and it will look much cleaner than what it looks like now that is being controlled by usb outside of the system and it's rgb so you can change any color you like with this let me see for example here you have all kinds of colors you want to get to but i prefer maybe this blue here or this one or the white but this one is as good as well so but for time lapses i think having this color is much better because it gets everything lit up and it's really nice so we what we are going to do as well with all these stuff inside of it is testing the noise levels is it actually helping or not and if it's helping how much db is going to be reduced because my neighbors on this side are really complaining and yeah you can have one complaint, two complaints, but in the end, if you have many complaints uh, all the time, I think that becomes like, you know, not nice anymore. So let's close this here and I'll show you a little bit more about this enclosure. I engraved my YouTube channel's logo on here. It's really deep, as you can see. Uh, I think that's a nice touch. Um, you, we have these parts from the LED lighting. This comes actually under the AMS, but we don't need it. I forgot to delete them actually when I was printing it. So let me show you the backside of this uh, enclosure, which is open. You might think if it's open, the sound will come out from here. Actually, yes and no. It does come out. I could close this, but if I close it, then there is no exhaust. And if there is no exhaust on these kind of printers, it will heat up and we don't want that. Um, you need something to, you know, have a have some heat coming all, coming out of the system. The enclosure that I bought from IKEA, I'll tell you later that what, how much I paid for it and everything. This one came this way, so I didn't cut it here. It was just this way, which is perfect for my usage. And the EMS is also sitting on top of it, which the PTFE tubing is going straight down. And the cable, I did, didn't connect it yet, but it comes here and then it works as well. In order to make it 
this way for pool on the on the uh, outside and the EMS system at the same time you need something like this which is a Y splitter so you connect this in the you guys probably know uh, or have used this with an EMS system but this will uh, you know you don't have to change the PTFE tubing on this one either so it's gonna be one uh, setup solution that you don't have to change anything from it so guys this is what the enclosure looks like i really like it my me personally because of the noise level especially because i can't see my printer now when i'm printing um but yeah you have a camera for it so you can look from the camera and see what the printer is printing so i like the look of the bamboo x1 carbon printer so i wish i didn't have to use something like this or it was see-through but yeah if you have a see-through cabin then yeah maybe the noise reduction won't work as good as this one does anyways guys let me just compare what it is to print with the door closed or with the door open this video is brought to you by PCBWay, your one stop for all PCB needs. We can design, prototype and build the boards your business requires at a price you can afford. Right now, four and six layer PCB costs have been reduced by 20%. The highest quality is matched by a quick order process and a 99% on time delivery. The best value, low minimum orders and a fast turnaround. PCBWay.com So now guys, we are about one meter away from the printer and we're going to see what the decibel that it's producing is. As you guys might have seen, the decibel that we have measured are different from each other. And uh, it's around, uh, let's say, 5 to 10 decibel difference. I think that's a very nice uh, thing to achieve with just a box and some foaming inside. This is very acceptable as if for my standards, this is acceptable. Being in the box as nice the box is, in my opinion. And then the uh, EMS system sitting on top of it really makes it perfect. And you can also, well, lock it, lock the mechanism or open it immediately. It sounds more, as you can see. Um, once you can see like this, the printer inside is getting not so hot. Um, I think the temperature changes, varies around three to five degrees because of the exhaustion in the back. If you didn't have any exhaustion in the back, that wouldn't be recommended, to be honest, guys. But in this situation, being able to... Let me close it again. Being able to have an exhaust on the back. Anyways, I hope you guys have learned something and will maybe want to make something better than this. Because this is my uh, experience and what I could make of a, of a printer uh, enclosure. Very cheaply, actually. Uh, as I said, I think this cost 50 euros, this was 25 euros the lit, and all the rest, well, was printed. So the foaming, I think I paid around 60 euros, 30, 30, for the blue one is 30, and the uh, black foaming was also 30, which is, so I used 
this foaming and also I used this one which is a very which is a really hard foam and I think it was yeah in combination they worked really fine anyways guys I hope you liked the video and also guys um, you see here on a pop-up that there is a giveaway of a Raspberry Pi if you haven't go to that video here and um, hashtag giveaway subscribe and also hit the thumbs up so that you can participate on this giveaway maybe you're the next winner anyways guys thank you for watching this video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye